Listen to Cold War Kids here on 104.3 The Buzz. It is the morning disaster on Thursday. And this Saturday night, we're having a uh, big concert over in Tortola. And it's going to be going down. We've been talking about it for a couple weeks. And we have Divinity Rocks here, right here in the studio. We've been talking about, uh, we've been we talked to you on the phone yeah. a couple days ago. You must have come in at 3 a.m. From, uh, from Los Angeles. It was early, man. It was really way too early to be talking. And uh, so are you used to that? I mean, you're not, you've been out on the road, uh, from what I understand, your whole adult life touring. So do you get used to, like, sometimes going to bed at 4 a.m. and other days waking up at 4 a.m.? What? Yeah, I get used to not going to bed at all. Oh, yeah? Yeah, sometimes. That's how you gotta roll. You're right? gonna fit in well here. Yeah. <laughs> I heard y'all like the party. A little bit. Yeah. Did you get your free rum shot when you stepped off the plane? No, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Bossy, man. <laughs> Dropping the ball here, man. It was a late flight. So, hey, where'd you come in from? Like, give us a little bit of background for those people who have not caught us talking about you in the past couple weeks. Um, you know, what you're up to this weekend over in the British Virgin Islands and what you've been up to the last, like, where'd you come from now? Are you flying from L.A.? Is that where you just came from? No, I just came back from Atlanta. Atlanta's where I'm from originally, so Holy I had to tell. go. Yeah, I always got to touch base at home. Um, I play bass guitar, for those of you who don't know, and I spit ill rhymes, and I do it at the same damn time. Can I say that? Yeah, you're fine. Okay, damn, damn, it's good. Um, <laughs> um, recently, most people might have seen me on tour with Beyonce. Uh, I was her musical director and bass player for five years. <laughs> Were you part of the Super Bowl party? <laughs> no, I didn't do the Super Bowl. Would I you... recently just stopped playing with her in order to, you know, do my solo thing. Would you have told her not to wear that she got on, if you were touring with her when they said? <laughs> I don't even remember what she was wearing. Honestly. Oh, it was bad. We do. <laughs> we do. <laughs> <laughs> Musical director. It's a different part of that. They say on a different yeah, side of the uh, stadium. Yeah, that's Y'all have nothing to like, do with wardrobe. Yeah, fashion wardrobe. But, you know, I think like you're, you're like... Anything you, like that. You're, I've seen you dress. You dress nice. You play guitar and stuff like that. And when she stepped on stage, you would have been like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> so, how long have you been playing bass guitar? What was your inspiration of picking up the bass and not like a, you know, honestly, a, like a regular guitar? Like a guitar, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, everybody plays guitar, you know what I mean? Um, but I really well. started playing bass in college. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't play growing up. I went to UC Berkeley to become a journalist. <laughs> <laughs> and I left early to be, <laughs> and I left early to be to be a bass player. Well, how'd that happen? You were so you were at, at Berkeley out in the Bay Area. Yep, so yep. Area? I love the Bay Area. Yep, I went out there from Atlanta, um, and I started hanging out with all these musicians. We I moved out of the dorms, you know, after the first semester because that just was not cool. Right. And uh, moved to Oakland, and I moved into this house with all these all these students. So we started throwing these huge parties. I mean, half of Oakland would come to our house like once a week, and we would do these huge jams with the upright bass player, drummer, and a DJ, and I would MC the party. But I wanted to play music. Like, we went to the studio once, and I was like, man, I want to play again something. I want to be part of the music making process, not just an MC, not just writing songs, uh, lyrics. So, my homeboy, who was really, really, really close to me, he used to lug around this upright bass everywhere he went. So, I told him, I was like, yo, man, I want to play. I, want to, I told him I wanted to play guitar, and he's like, yeah, you should play bass. Bass is cool with a guitar anyway. And you, and you got the swag of a bass player. So I went home that summer and bought a bass guitar. I came home, came back to school, and fell in love with the bass, and I haven't put it down. Huh. And you had some big old calluses on your fingers, I guess, because you know what? It's a, there's no easy start to playing bass guitar. <laughs> no, those are some big strings. Yeah, those are big strings. I got a big stretch. Well, that's cool, man. Well, that, that's it. So then you did you go back to school, and then did, did you nope. start playing in the Bay Area? Well, you know just... what? I left I left Berkeley and moved back to Atlanta. I had a hip-hop group there called Dad Boo. I so bet we your parents to... were happy about that. Oh, no. <laughs> My mom, though. You know how moms are. They're always like, oh, baby, I support you and your dreams and... You know, she yeah. taught me to follow my dreams my whole life, so I call her. And, you know, I called her on it, and it was like, "Well, this is my dream," so she had to support me. My Fair dad, well, you're lucky. You're lucky. Well, yeah. You know, also, UC Berkeley's going to be there 400 years from now, exactly. but I mean, you got your shot at music, and obviously, it panned out well for you. So. Well, you know, it's panning. There have been times when I thought about going back to Berkeley and filling out that one-page form that gets you right back in. You know what I mean? <laughs> so how long? There's time for that. There's time for that. <laughs> how long have you been doing the solo thing? Oh man, I've been doing the solo thing even before the Beyonce gig. Um, I was doing the solo thing, and the Beyonce gig, when I started it, it kind of took me out of the solo thing mm -hmm. for, for five years. Um, so it feels good to get back in it, but before touring with Beyonce, I was touring with Victor Wooten, who's probably one of the best bass players in the world. Yeah. And, uh, and on his tour, I was doing my solo thing and playing, and playing his show, so it was dope. So you're opening like a, and playing. I was opening and then playing with him and coming out, rapping and singing and... So you kind of went full circle, it sounds like. So now you're, you, you know, you've paid your dues, you've made your mark with uh, other people, and now you're able to uh, do your 
you know, to fulfill your dream all the way. And yes, sir. We can see That's her this uh, Saturday night. So is this your first time here in the islands? Yes, actually it is. I've never been to Tortola, so I'm really excited about it. <laughs> you, why you, did you make that face? You might not go home, man. It's like, <laughs> I, know. I, I don't know if you know what really. you're getting yourself into, but this is the land that time forgot. When's the next full moon? <laughs> <laughs> People come Wait, here for a week and stay you? for a life. Yeah, yeah. You think you're coming out for a little while, and you're like, all right, I'm not going back to California. Exactly. This is water's actually, warm. his problem is the statute of limitations, which is coming yeah. up very soon. I can't go back yet. <laughs> Soon I'll be able to, but I just didn't, I wouldn't know what to do when I, exactly. when I walked off the plane and saw all those people. Yeah, really. Well, so tell us a little bit about your show. You're going to be doing this Saturday night and uh, what we can, uh, what the fans can expect. Yo, you can there. expect to rock out and lose your mind, honestly. I mean, the show is, uh, is, is bold, it's blatant, it's crazy, it's going to be wild. I have an incredible band playing with me. Um, I'm gonna be playing bass, rapping. You know, it's gonna be sick. It's something you've never seen. I, you know, the energy that you're gonna feel is you're gonna be amazed. I, that's how I feel. About it. Hey, do you have uh, somewhere online people can go check your stuff out? Oh yeah, man, I'm all over the place. I'm on divinityrocks.com, R O X X. Uh, I'm on Facebook. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Instagram. I'm on this new app called Vine. You guys check that out? No. It's such a cool app, man. You make little short videos. I'm addicted to it. Oh, that's awesome. All right, Pretty so you can cool. get check her out uh, online and prepare yourself for this Saturday night. Now, tickets are still available. You can get tickets uh, that night as well. And if you're going on over there, the Nanny K Hotel is just about a five-minute walk over there to the venue, and you can even sit out on your back porch probably here. You're jamming all night long over there. If you're boating, come into Nanny K Marina, and that's there as, as well. And tickets just 25 bucks, sponsored by Philandia Vodka, Roll Town Wholesale, and us here at 104.3 The Buzz. Yeah. Thanks for coming up so early, and we're looking Thanks forward to seeing you out there this Saturday night. Thank you. Rock on, man. <laughs> nice. Cool. Huh?